Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we are diving into goal planners and I have two goal planners for you. I have Gripply and Time Stripe. That is the two I know of and we are going to compare them because they are quite different even though the idea is the same. Goal planners are to-do list applications or daily planners that are more focused on your goals. They want you to plan your goals and build your life around that. And that is an idea I've liked. I've currently, I am currently uh, using uh, Gripply and I've really enjoyed using Gripply. I think it is an amazing application and I have an affiliate link for it as well. Uh, just wanted to say that before we jump into uh, the application, but I think like time stripe is really good too uh, and I've said that many times as well and I think uh, they are different it depends on what you need so let's start off with the pricing and we are going to start off with uh, the pricing on time stripe so time stripe is a little more expensive which makes sense because it offers a bit more uh, this is the pricing in US dollars it is $19 monthly. They are always running sales. Um, so the price you see here, which is 13, 6, and 5, that's the sale prices. The uh, regular price is 19, 9, or 650. They have a free plan, but uh, the free plan has some limitation to it. Uh, so that is basically the pr uh, pricing. We are going to go into Gripply and check out the pricing here as well uh, and uh, here uh, we will go into light mode so i will give you a second to prepare for that uh, so this is uh gripley's pricing you have uh, a free plan which gives you two goals two habits unlimited tasks nine life areas habit statistics goal progress charts tests and habit reminders google and outlook events and ios widgets for uh, the premium, you can uh, get everything in free plus unlimited uh, of everything and calendar and time blocking. I actually got gifted the lifetime uh, premium plan. They had a sale going on when they released uh, Gripply 3.0, but the lifetime option is now gone. Uh, monthly, it is $4.99, so either $2.49 or $4.99. So let's start off with Time Stripe. Time Stripe is revolving around these boards. So you have a daily, a weekly, a monthly, a yearly, and a life board. Uh, and basically the whole application revolves around these boards. What you would do is set a life goal, divide that into uh like um divide that into a yearly goal uh, and divide that yearly goal into a monthly goal and so on and you can actually drag things around here because as I said these are boards. You have a lot of different options so you can change the color, you can assign this to someone so I would assign it to myself because it's just me in this space. I could move it to another space, I could move it to another board, I can reschedule it so let's just move it to another board for now. I could also uh, share it, make a sub goal. Uh, so I could create a sub goal here as well if I wanted to, which is basically what you would call sub tasks in other applications. Um, and you also have uh, these horizons. So you have what's called hours, days, weeks, months, and years. And again, uh, you can uh, change these up and drag things around so I can drag things back and forward I can check things off uh, and uh, as I said these function like boards here you actually have a daily planner that is basically what it is so if you wanted to do daily planning you could actually do that uh, and I could change the time and it basically works with your uh, tasks as well so if I go uh, in here uh, actually let's go to the horizons and let's add a new task for today called test uh and let's call this test one two three you could actually add a time here um and uh, it would schedule that task for you so i think the time is added now if i go back into days you can see that it appears in my days here as well and it should appear in my hours as well if I just scroll down so you can do calendar blocking here 
uh, which is something I really like. When I've used Time Stripe, I've mainly used uh, this view when I've like tested it out for my own use cases. But you can actually create boards here as well. So here you have Kanban boards, which again, I really do uh, like, uh, and you can drag things back and forward. You can actually schedule it from here as well. I can schedule it to today. I can also give it a time. So let's give it two hours and let's actually set it to like this and set it for 30 minutes. Uh, actually, let's try doing it like this and 30 minutes and it is set. And if I go back into my hours, scroll all the way down, you can see that this appears here as well. And I can actually drag this uh, to uh, change the schedule or reschedule it or change how much time it uses. So that is basically the calendar blocking abilities here. Uh, and you have the boards and these work really well for project related uh, stuff. You have a lot of fancy features here as well. You have the full calendar view. You have uh, the progress, which just shows you uh, what you've done inside of the application. You can invite people to your space. You have an inbox here as well. Uh, so these are, uh, this is basically a regular uh, inbox. And uh, in here, you can actually also write comments, notes, you can tag things, you can show history, you can add comments, you can add sub goals, uh, you can also pin. So uh, this uh, actually uh, allows you to add hashtags as well, but it does not work with Markdown, uh, but it allows me to add a um, hashtag here as well if I wanted to. But you could basically use this to track the movies you wanted to watch or books to read, things like that, because you have uh, these boards that you can add. And there are a lot of like template boards you can use. So here you can see some of them like lecture notes, reading, basically Kanban boards. That is what this application offers. Um, you have the insights here, which shows you statistics. You have the gallery. Uh, which shows you, uh, again, some of the boards. Uh, and you have climbs, which are basically like things you can learn using the applications of 30 days of coding, for example. And you have this overview, which always scares me here. I can see what people have done in different ages. So I'm 26. Uh, that's right here. At age 26, Napoleon Bonaparte conquered Italy. Well, um, I don't know what to say to that. Uh, I am 26. I'm not planning to conquer anyone. Uh, anyways, that is like everything in uh, Time Stripe for you. Let's jump over to Gripply. Uh, here you can see that things are a little similar. You have inbox here as well. You have the today view here. From here, I can actually drag my tasks onto um, onto the calendar like this and drag it. Uh, these are habits. The blue ones uh, are actually, or in my case, the blue ones because reading is education and learning area for me. So this is actually a habit. You can see that it repeats every day. You have an upcoming where you can see your calendar. Uh, here you can see all of my tasks this week. Uh, everything I've done. Uh, I am filming this YouTube video now, but much later than I actually planned. As you can see, I played Paddle today. Uh, these are calendar events, while uh, these things with checkboxes, they are actually uh, they are actually uh, tasks within the application. There is no two-way sync here, which is a little annoying. You have an all tasks view and you have a completed view, which is the same as uh, the view inside of uh, inside of uh, Time Stripe that allows you to see everything you've done in the application. Where uh, Time Stripe revolves around go uh, around boards, uh, this application revolves around life areas and goals within those areas. So if I open up my, these are all of my different uh, life areas, like I have education and learning, and some of them are default with the application. I have personal development, I have my day job, I have my uh, social media stuff. And if I jump into here, I can like add my ideal life, I can see the tasks here. Uh, all of the completed ones, the ones I uh, have planned to do, or I've at least written down, and you can see my sub goals, which 
would work as like boards for projects inside of Time Stripe, except that they are not boards, they are actually uh, goals. So here you can see progress, you can see tasks related to that goal. So in my case, this uh, film YouTube video would actually be related to uh, the YouTube uh, stuff. So I can go ahead and remove this and I can uh, do the 6,000 subs one, for example. Uh, and in my case, I started using Gripply a little, um, a little too late. Uh, and the same goes for Time Stripe because, but I feel like it is more for Gripply because the way it the application is set up. Because uh, I had given up on half of my goals, which happens uh, a lot in. Uh, in productivity and in goal planning, like halfway through the year, you give up on all of your goals. That happened to me. Uh, so uh, I haven't been able to like put everything into here and use the goals in a good way. Uh, and that is one issue I've had. You have tags inside of uh, Gripply as well. Not something I've used a lot, but I have a meeting tag. Uh, as I mentioned, these goals are more like... Uh, they are more uh, like projects or I guess they could be called goals because every project has the goal but basically you could use them for project management. You have your habits here uh, so I have two I have my daily stand-up meeting which I have almost every single day I've just set this up as a habit because it happens every single day at work except for weekends and I have my reading and here I can see the statistics so I can see it for the week for the month quarter year four weeks, 12 weeks, or 12 months, which, well, it isn't a year, because uh, my guess is that the year is just this year, while well, 12 months from now would be until uh, September 2024, so it makes sense. Uh, you have uh, the insights here, which just shows you your habits and your goal and where you are, and so uh, that is everything for uh, Grip. Uh, I think like these applications are a little different because I like the how would I describe this I like the idea of time stripe better uh, because I want to be that kind of person that spends a lot of time in these boards and planning tasks but I am way too lazy for that which is a problem in general I have but if you are someone that spends a lot of time tracking your tasks and that is important to you and you have many more tasks than I have something more complex that allows you to build workflows might be better time stripe uh, if you just want something really really simple and stripped down and like give up on all of the fancy features and uh, like have a tool that's much more opinionated on how you should work uh, then uh, probably Gripply is your best choice but like I've had an issue because at work we have uh, we use uh, we use Scrum uh, which means that we have a backlog uh, and then we have our tasks um, for the sprint and we have ongoing and we have done. And if I come up with something I should do, uh, not this sprint, but the next sprint, for example, I have no way to put that in uh, like my backlog, for example. I can just write things down into Gripply. While in Time Stripe, I could actually create a board with a backlog, with a 12-week backlog, with... Uh, ongoing with done things like that you could probably come up with something uh, in Gripply with the tags but the applications are different time stripe is more for power users while uh, Gripply is like more opinionated more easy to use but you give up on a lot of the features I think that covers it for today's episode if you have any questions feel free today's episode i thought this was a podcast today's youtube video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave them down below i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video